We're up at West Point, uh, the United States Military Academy, and what we've done is we've gathered our, our first and second line leaders from the Americas and pulled them out of their, their day jobs, out of the field, to invest in leadership training and development here at West Point. There is never a good time to take managers out of the field. Uh, three days is extensive, but at the beginning of the year, when we took the polls of what managers were asking for, they wanted us to invest in their development. For us to go through over a four hour period and learn you know, about the Battle of Stody Point and learn about the personalities of both sides and learn about what went through their thought process and how that, how that came to be, we were able to reenact what went through their minds and what were the leadership challenges that they had to do they would have sent out reconnaissance to see where the enemy was. Even though the Battle of Stony Point took place in July 1779, it's surprisingly relevant today because so many of the themes that, that usher forth from this relatively small battle uh, resonate. My name is Bernie Banks and I had the great privilege of working here at the United States Military Academy at West Point. And let me be amongst the many to say welcome to your United States Military Academy. This is your school. Whether you send somebody to attend this school or not, the graduates of this institution will work humbly on your behalf, day in, day out, tirelessly, because they believe deeply that the preservation of the democratic idea is worth their sacrifice. It is a servant mentality, and the lives they lead are not easy ones. So when we talk about the importance of leadership, there's really two things I want you to consider, people and perspective. Let's talk about Colonel Cal. He's got multiple advanced degrees. He was handpicked to come back to West Point to get these degrees as well as develop the leadership curriculum and train today and tomorrow's great leaders out of this institution. That in and of itself says enough. While doing these advanced degrees, he's done multiple tours of duty in Iraq. I'm an active duty soldier. I'm a military officer. I'm sort of a scientist practitioner, if you will. I was in Desert Storm as a young lieutenant. Uh, I was deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom right after 9-11. And I was also uh, deployed in, in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. And I tell the stories I do in order to draw people into the conversation. I want to hear from them about how they experience a common environment, not just my environment. It's not different, it's just a different context. So the challenges that I face in combat in Iraq or Afghanistan, you take away the bullets, you take away the mountains, it's the same human dimensions that we struggle with in business every day as well. The human dynamic does not change. I don't think anybody really knew what they were expecting coming into this, and I spoke to nearly everybody over the course of the week, and everybody took something very personal away from this experience. 